front of the pack. Again, there's more grass coming down. So raw sienna, lemon yellow, ultramarine. Just keep mixing. Just keep varying it. So I'm just constantly going into the palette, just constantly varying it, mixing it up. And then just down there at the bottom of this little bit here, I'm going to go for some bit darker, bit darker. Because then I can take the uh, plastic card. And it's before I do the rocks, there's like a there's a there's like a broken branch lying on the floor. I'm just gonna put that in. If that looks like a, like a broken branch or not, but darken it up, darken these sides up again. And then put our put our rocks in. Some big ones down the bottom. And then just make them small as they as they disappear. And there's also some more grassy areas. Along here. So I've got a big tree here, great big thing, big wide trunk. That goes right away up to the top. And then switch to the rigger. It's the same colours, but plenty of water with the with the number three rigger. And again, coming out the side, and we've got some branches going. Flying around, all sorts of different directions. Some coming out on one side, some coming out the other. And then again, clean the brush, clean the brush, scuff it up. So we got dry hairs, and then into the into the mix, same sort of mix, and then just Just a few leaves scattered about. That'll do. Don't want to overdo it. There is one tree that I actually missed over on the left hand side. It just looks a little bit bare there. So I'm going to again make a dark mix. Just do it on this hill. Uh, which which way shall I go? So go left or right of this one? Um, I'm going to keep it left, I think.
and again just scuff it up scuff it up into the colours and just whack the leaves in Now the, the bases of these trees aren't very uh, realistic looking, so what I often do, just uh, just go into pretty much any colour you want really, and, and just if you a few twigs and maybe a few little. A few bits of grass growing at the foot of the trees, oh, maybe even a few little, a few little rocks. Um, just a little. Okay, it's too dark. Too strong that red. Um, don't forget the little birds in the trees. Back to the rigger. Plenty of water. Where should we put them? Ah, uh, oh, somewhere. Somewhere about there. Let's give that a quick dry. <laughs> shadows in so clean brush and shadow colours I generally go light red ultramarine plenty of water because you don't want it too strong so you want to be able to see what's underneath so light red ultramarine plenty of water some some light sort of consistency sort of like a purpley type thing and then there's a sort of there's a shadow going across up there and across there's another one coming a, along there. Maybe something there. There's a few along there. I can see another little one like right that. Some shadows. That's there. I think I'll leave it at that. I'll just give that a quick dry. left now. Back to the rigger. Dark colour, I'll generally go um, burnt umber, ultramarine and then just pop your signature somewhere. Stick the air on as well if you want. 
And that's another fine tin finish. Hope you enjoyed that. Keep practicing. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks.